guys, it's Abby, and today I'm filming my current favourites video. I don't do monthly favourites because I just find them very repetitive and quite boring after a while because I don't have new things that I love every month. Just, this is stuff that I just love at the moment. So yeah, so, I basically it's just a video full of things that I love, random ass things, and I cannot wait to show them to you. And hopefully you will like them because it's new year, new things, new changes, new starts, new stuff to enjoy. So maybe you guys could go pick some new things up or watch or listen to some of the stuff that I recommend and let me know down below what you think. I'm so excited. So let's go. And thank you guys so much for 4,600 subscribers. I love you all so much. Hi to my new subscribers because I got quite a few the other day. I got like 70 in one day. Like that's crazy. And I'd love to reach 5k, so hi to people who've discovered my channel, and I hope you join the family. So thanks for watching, let's get on with the video. So this is kind of just going to be random, so let's go. So firstly with skincare, I have three skincare products that I have been loving at the moment. The first is Bio Oil. Um, this is just really good for anything really, if you've got any problems with your skin like scars from spots, like some stretch marks, it can, it really helps, it helps scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, ageing skin and dehydrated skin and I have really dry skin on my nose and this is really helping, like literally just with any lumps and bumps I've got, any problems, it heals it really well and it feels a bit like it's really oily but I really like this, I think it's about £8 which is a little bit pricey but a mistake I made was before getting this I thought, oh I'll just get this super drug stuff, like the Superdrug Home Run Sun stuff, which is £6, £2 cheaper than this, but it doesn't work, like, it doesn't work as good as the stuff. So if it's just a £2 extra, it really does help, and it's really helped me. It's both from Liz Earl. So this is quite pricey stuff, but it was my mum's, and she gave it to me. So I didn't pay for it, but I'm sure you can find it cheap somewhere. Um... So I have the Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic. This is kind of like an oil as well, and you put this on after you've done all your cleansing toning. If you do that, I don't really. Um, you just put this on as an oil, but you don't wash it off, and you just let it soak into your skin, and it feels and smells so nice, 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 and it just makes your skin feel really nice and fresh. Then have the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. I've heard loads of people talk about the cleanse and polish. And this is obviously a cleanser, you put this on before, you put it on and then you wash it off and your skin is so smooth and it just really refreshes my skin. Mm. I've been loving, this is really random, this mug from Urban Outfitters, it says, Britney survived 2007, you can handle today. Because I'm in year 11, I'm constantly stressed, like I've got really bad stress at the moment, it's horrendous. With all the stress of school, obviously doing my YouTube and things like that, it's just really stressful. And just seeing this mug on in the morning actually makes me feel really better. And I know it's stupid, but it's so true because if, basically in 2007, Britney's beard had like this huge ass meltdown. And I actually kind of remember it to be honest. And she shaved all her hair off and she's like, I can't do it anymore. But she survived that year and she got through and now look at her, she's like amazing again. So Britney survived 2007, she survived that tough time. So I can survive a day, I can handle a day and it actually makes me feel so much better and I love it. And it's kind of funny as well, isn't it? it's like it's a good, it's a good joke. So that's from Urban Outfitters and I think it was five, no, I think it was like five body soap products, both from the brand I love and they're both in the same scent. I love peachy passion fruit. Um, basically me and when I went on a school trip to Meadow Hall, my friend Mia bought this and it was the I Love Peach Passion Fruit Bath and Shower Cream and I smelt it on the bus home and I was like, oh my god. And I had never ordered things offline but I ordered these two straight off Amazon and they were £3 each I think which is really good and then you can get them in super drug, supermarkets, yeah. Because <laughs> I just love the smell and I can't describe it. It, honestly it smells so nice, it smells all summery and it's really creamy and I use this all the time in the bath and I've only just, I haven't had it that long now so that's why it's quite still full but it's so good and it smells so nice and the smell kind of sticks to you if you know what I mean after the bath so it doesn't like just wash away and it's really nice and then I've got the body butter as well I've only used this once, it doesn't really have as strong a scent as um, the shower cream but I still love it it's still like really really moisturizing for my legs. The thing I love I've been loving is a perfume 
And I bought it in summer and it's dyed, which is really depressing. It's a Taylor Swift Wonderstruck perfume. Lois, if you're watching this, I remember her talking about it in a video and I love Taylor Swift. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna buy it. And I'm really glad I bought it because it's such, such, such a good perfume. And I think it is gone. I'm gonna open it up and see if there's any left. But it's really cute, it's got charms on and I love the packaging, it's like this like moon. So on to songs, songs I've been loving at the moment is um, Take Me Home by Jess Glynn, like I love it. I'll just skip it a bit. And it's called Secret Love Song and it's got Jason Derulo, it's with Jason Derulo. Okay, so I've been watching a lot of films recently. I kind of go through phases where I don't watch films at all, and then I go, like, if I watch one film by, like, a certain company or something, I watch all of them. So, I've been loving, I'm in love with Nicholas Sparks movies at the moment. But Locker, then there's A Walk to Remember. This melted my heart. Like, it's quite an old film, it's 2002, you know, I was two years old when it was brought out, so I never really saw it, and I've, like, when I've like read reviews about Nicholas Sparks films and stuff, this one is always like, I mean, always the one people have put as their favourite. So if you haven't seen A Walk to Remember, I used to get kind of put off by oldish films, but I'm really liking them at the moment. So I highly recommend, oh, I always say highly recommend. I recommend A Walk to Remember. And then the last film. Okay, guys, I cannot even, like I can't, I just can't. If you know me, and if you have me on Instagram, so I'll promo there, it's down below. Um, Basically, I watched this film the other day and I've watched it again since I watched it last night and it's called The Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks. This is my all-time favourite Nicholas Sparks song. My favourite film next to The Host. The Host and The Best of Me are my favourite films. And honestly, a film has never moved me as much. Well, A Watch to Remember really moved me, but The Best of Me, it really, really moved me. Like, I don't cry too much at films, but I was in bits. And it's not really scary, like there are guns in it, but like, I wouldn't cuss it's scary, but it's just so sad. And I don't want to give it away because I really want you guys to watch it, like really. If you've watched it, please comment down below. It's so, so good. It's basically, I'm going to put the trailer, even now, at the end, or I'm going to leave it down below. And please, 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 I'm asking you to watch this film. It's on Netflix, it's on Putlocker, you can find it free online if you search. The best of me free online, it's on Netflix, put lock it. Might be on oh it's might be on Amazon Prime. It's on every and I'm going on for ages, but it's an amazing, 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 amazing film. And it had me in bits at the end. If you know the end, don't give it away, but like if you cried at the end, let me know because the ending is so 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 like it was it ends sad, but then it like they, I feel like the right, Nicholas Sparks was like, okay, I'm feeling th these people with too much sadness. I need to have a good bit at the end. So at the end, the sad bit was for a good reason. If you get me. <laughs> Just what books I've been loving at the moment are the Louise Sprinkling Glitter books. I got these for Christmas and, oh my God, this is like my Bible. So Life of a Sprinkler Glitter is my Bible. She is the best at giving advice, honestly. If you're really struggling as a teenager, because I'm having a kind of a tough time at the moment, everyone is, um, this book so helps, like it has answers to all your questions, um, and it's so like nice and like perky if you get, because it's all like different, all the pages are like, it's, look, she's put so much thought into this book, um, like it's got a surviving education, bullying, body confidence, comfort zones, boys, dating, being kind, beauty and pampering, like crafts, it's got all of this advice in it and it's like my bible, it's helped me so much and it's actually made me a more confident it's coat, it's not even mine, it's my mum's, I don't even know where it's, it's from Cray, Cray Coppers, Cray Coppers, honestly I don't really know, and it's, I'm really liking like greys and stuff at the moment, mm, like I still love my pinks, don't, don't get me wrong, but I'm liking my greys and whites and blacks, and because it's winter, it's a nice thick coat if you get me. Like it's really nice and soft and it's just grey and the hood is like a lot I can ask you like it. And it's really, really, really insulating. It keeps me so warm 
and I just I love it so much. I look thing is I look like Ed, Edmund from Narnia in it though. Yeah. So my first one I got for Christmas is the Collection Contour Highlight and Sculpt Kit. Now this is bloody amazing. So I had the sleek one, I still have the sleek one and I've been wearing that for like six months and it's really good and I never really thought I could beat it if you know what I mean. I never used the blush in it, I just love the highlight and bronzer. Ow. Oh my god collection, like how, how did you get it so bloody amazing? Collection is such a cheap brand, it's in Superdrug, it's in Boots, you can get it really anywhere online like drugstore stores will have it, like Tesco, super, like supermarkets have it as well. And the contour kit is amazing. Um, the Anastasia Dip Brow, this is £15. I got it off for Christmas from beautybay.com. This is quite hard to get hold of in England, but you can get it online in places. And I love it so much. I have it in shade chocolate, which looks too dark for my eyebrows, but it's really not. Like I have it on right now on my eyebrows and it's just this little like paint pot and it looks like you don't really get much but you, but you actually do. You only need a little bit at a time. So I really love this. And then to go over is my, I love this, Zoeva. I'm definitely going to be asking for my birthday for some more Zoeva brushes because they're amazing. The Fruity 2 Brow Line brush, brush. This is my favourite brush at the moment. It's so good. Like my eyebrows, I could do them so much faster than before because it's so like sleek and steady and it can turn the corner of the arch so nicely and it makes them kind of thick but you can like thin them out with this as well. It's absolutely, I've never known an eyebrow brush so good in my life. Honestly, it's amazing. It's a billion times better. I hate, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, don't like the brow line brush from Real Technique. It's way too thick. This. This could, if you put this in a boxing ring with Real Technique eyebrow brush, sorry Real Technique eyebrow brush, but you'd be gone, you'd be gone. Then I have a mascara, it's the Collection Super Size Fat Lash Mascara. And at first when I saw it I was like, hmm, this doesn't look like it's going to be very good because, I don't know, it's just kind of one of them things, like the packaging isn't amazing, like it's easy packaging. And then when I took it out I was like, okay, this is going to just be a basic mascara because it's a really thick wand. And I did it on my bottom lashes and I was like... Wait, hold on a minute, this is really good. And it's really like thinning, if you know what I mean. So it's not one that I would use on my top lashes, personally, because I like them really long and thick. Bottom lashes, this is amazing for the detail and getting all the lashes and just making them look really this nice. This is some MAC lipsticks. This is the last thing in my favourites video. I have, well, I own three and these are two of them. So firstly I have Please Me, I've had this for quite a few years, I've had it for two years, maybe three, so it's slightly blunt, but it's quite just a basic pink and it's a matte and normally mattes on my lips feel really gross and like, like, you know, not nice, but this is so nice, like it's so easy to apply and it's so, so, so much, sweet. like I can just wear this easy anywhere really. And then lastly is Rebel and it's a satin finish and it looks proper dark, like Oh, really dark it's not it's kind of like a deep well a bright berry color and I love it so okay so some youtubers I'm currently loving is Adeline Morin her editing is crazy amazing she's gorgeous Ailish Hunter she's just gold isn't she Joe Sugg my husband and then lastly Jamie and Nikki vlogs I think they might just be called Jamie and Nikki they are goals like, they're the cutest couple in the whole entire world they're my OTP they're having a baby like literally now basically, it's due, Ava is due any day now, they're so cute, they put so much effort into their vlogs, and they deserve way more subscribers, and they're from Australia so they're so I love you Jamie and Nikki. <laughs> and also for the shout out competition, um, the channel, I don't know Scott, won the shout out so his channel's going to be down below, so go subscribe, his party is amazing and he's so lovely and go subscribe and there's going to be another shout out there's going to be quite regular shout out competitions because i want to give you all some shots at yeah so i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you kind of discovered some new stuff that i've been loving and maybe you could try out please watch the best of me it's the best film in the whole entire universe it is Someone once said, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. But I believe everything that happens...
happens for a reason. Dawson. You don't know how to flirt, do you, Dawson? I guess I blew it the other day. You did? Well, what are you going to do about it? I don't mind doing that again. Then do it. Oh. So you caught yourself a rich girl going through her slumming phase. <laughs> Did she tell you that you're special? Ain't nothing. Just look out! Oh. I can't have you getting hurt. Do you want this? Do you want me? I do. Bad things happen when you hang around bad people. He was trying to protect me. If this was the last time you're gonna see me, what would you say? Please don't do this. It's a miracle that you're alive, Dawson. Is there anyone that you want to call? Amanda? Dawson. It's been a long time. 20 years. 21. But who's counting? What's going on this is dangerous. You have gotten better looking. You couldn't have gotten bald or fat or something. Jesus. <laughs> I miss this. A lot of things have changed since I last saw you. I don't know what happened. Life. There was so much you wanted to do. I wanted to do it with you. I blame you for thinking that you knew what was best for me when it was you that was best for me. You had a lot of nerve coming back here. I lost you once. I'm not gonna lose you again. You give me all.